Today, we'll introduce how to set up TP-Link EAP via web browser. The setup consists of three steps. Power on the EAP and connect it to the internet, log in to the EAP, and change the default SSID. Step 1. Power on the EAP and connect it to the internet. Choose a method according to your product and scenario. If your EAP is provided with a passive PoE adapter, connect your EAP's Ethernet port to the PoE port of the PoE adapter. Then, connect the LAN port of the PoE adapter to your router's LAN port. Next, connect the power cord of the PoE adapter's power socket and connect the other end of the power cord to the power outlet. Finally, connect your router's WAN port to the internet. If your EAP is provided with a DC power adapter, connect your EAP's power port to a power outlet using the power adapter. Then, connect your EAP's Ethernet port to your router's LAN port. Finally, connect your router's WAN port to the internet. If your EAP is required to be powered by a standard PoE equipment, such as a PoE switch, connect your EAP's Ethernet port to the PoE switch. Then connect the PoE switch to your router's LAN port. Finally, connect your router's WAN port to the internet. Step 2. Log into the EAP. You can log into the EAP in two ways, using either a wired connection or a wireless connection. Method 1. Log into the EAP via wireless connection. To connect your computer to the EAP wirelessly, search for the EAP's default SSID, which is printed on the product label at the bottom of the EAP. Click Connect. Make sure that your computer got the IP settings from the router. Launch a web browser and enter the domain name of the EAP, tplinkeap.net, in the address bar. Then enter the username and password. Both of them are admin by default. Method 2. Log into the EAP via wired connection. By default, the EAP can get IP settings automatically from the router. In this method, you need to log into the router to get the IP address of the EAP first. Then you can use that IP address to log into the EAP. Connect the either port of your computer to your router's LAN port. Press and hold the Windows key and then press R on your PC. Type Control and click OK to enter the control panel. Select View by Small Icons, then go to the Network and Sharing Center. Set your computer to obtain an IP address and DNS server address automatically. Make sure that your computer got the IP settings from the router. Find the DHCP server address, which is also the IP address of the router. Launch a web browser and enter the IP address of the router in the address bar. Log into the router. On the DHCP client list, find the IP address of the EAP according to its MAC address, which is printed on the product label at the bottom of the EAP. Enter the IP address of the EAP in the address bar. Then enter the username and password. Both of them are admin by default. Step 3. Change the default SSID. By default, anyone can access a wireless network without authentication because the default SSID has no password. For security purposes, we recommend changing the default SSID. The first time you log into the EAP, set up a new username and password for further management. Set up the SSID, your wireless network name, and password. Click Save. Wait until the configuration is applied. If you are using a wireless connection, connect to the new SSID by the password you set. Click the checkbox to confirm it and click Finish. You can configure more functions on this web page. For more details, refer to the user guide. Finally, you can connect your wireless clients such as your phones to the new SSID with the password you set. Enjoy surfing the internet. Thank you.